more on new credit card uh, technology. I spoke with Yin Zhe Chao. He's an assistant professor of computer science and engineering at Lehigh University in Pennsylvania. He explains the new method he helped develop called Safe Pay. What we invented is called Safe Pay. So Safe Pay is a secure payment system that fetches disposable credit card number from a server and then deliver it to your cell phone and then it delivered to our safe pay device and then this device is being backward compatible with existing magnetic card readers. What inspired you to do this? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a, a great question. So the reason I do this is like one day in like 2013, I was on a train, so reading a newspaper uh, from a Wall Street Journal, and this says about a big data breach, which is the target data breach. And I was say, oh, that's a very big problem. So many credit cards have been stolen. I would say, okay, I need to do something to fix the problem. And therefore, I try to think about idea. The first idea is definitely to encrypt the credit card number, but the problem existing magnetic card readers does not support any of encryptions. That's why I'm thinking, okay, maybe we need to from with another problem, another solution that is try to make it backward compatible, and that's why how I come with SafePay that fetches disposable credit number and delivered to the existing magnetic card readers. The way I look at it is when I use my bank, for example, I enter a password onto the computer to log into the bank account. What they will sometimes mm -hmm. do is they'll have a separate device where you have to enter some, some, some items and they will send you a special one-time code. You take that one-time mm -hmm. code, you enter it, enter it into the computer. And, and that's obviously for security reasons. Is this similar mm -hmm. to that? Uh, basically, our uh, advantage is that our we, we do use one-time code, but one-time code is being fetched automatically from the server and to the cell phone, and then this uh, one-time uh, credit card number will be delivered to our own device. This device is a magnetic card uh, generator, and that generator can be swiped to the existing card readers, the same as you do with those swipe cards. And, and of course, you're, you're doing all this, and not just you, but a lot of companies are very worried about, you know, basically counterfeit cards, consumer fraud, I mean, mm -hmm. all these things put together. And my understanding from talking to experts is uh, there has never been a method to, that's a fail-safe method to sort of eliminate all this fraud and counterfeiting. And there's one idea that came about a long, long time ago, and that was using the, the fingerprint. Whatever happened to that? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, but our fingerprint is because fingerprint can also be forged. So because, for example, when, you, when they take your fingerprint and uh, then like your uh, like uh, the security is be compromised. And for us, our advantage is that this is kind of like disposable credit card number. So that means once you get everything, this is like a Snapchat. So once it's being transactioned and then this information just gone and then you are secure. When you look at the technologies out there, be besides yours for just a moment, we'll, we'll assume that yours is the best available out there. But the other <laughs> technologies, the other com competitors you have, is there one that you can say that, hey, I, I think that's a really good idea. Uh huh. Yeah, as I uh, mentioned, like the chip card, currently people are trying to push it. So that is a good idea. So if I would say, for example, like uh, if we are in an era that is before the magnetic card is invented, definitely we should adopt chip card. But the problem is that in the current stage, the magnetic card is being adopted and it's everywhere. So it's hard to replace all the existing magnetic card reader and magnetic card, re uh, card. So that is why uh, we are saying like a chip card is good, but we are also better. <laughs> why is your technology that you invented that much better than everybody else's? So one of the competitor is the EMV card, which is a chip card. So the comparison is that our method is more secure, uh, less expensive, and also we are backward compatible with existing card reader. We don't what, 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 does that mean? what does that mean, backward compatible? Mm -hmm. Backward compatible means that we don't need to replace all the existing card readers in the wild. For example, you can see like all the merchant, like Walgreens, like uh, the Walmart, all change their card readers to be backward compatible with uh, like a chip card. But us, it can just use existing card readers. Okay, so it sounds pretty cool, actually. Um, mm -hmm. Where are you at the stage? You've invented the product. I'm, I'm assuming you're sharing your product idea with everybody else like you are with us right now. 
Do you need mm -hmm. money? Do you yeah. need investors? Do you need a CEO? <laughs> where, where are you in the development of, of all this? Yeah, that's a great question. So currently we are still in the early stage. So we have a paper that is uh, published at IEEE CNS and it won the best paper award. And then the next stage is we have, uh, although we have one prototype, we're going to produce more prototype and we're going to push it to the consumers and then we may file patent and those are some other stuff as to mention, we'll uh, push it to the market.